And June here is currently 28 and a half pounds. She'll get just a little bit bigger. She's not quite full grown yet, maybe 35 pounds full grown. And uh, we'll do a little bit of work with her in here, a couple commands, and then we'll go outside. She responds very well to going in her crate and the weight command. So helpful for getting uh, in and out of cars, going through doorways, coming out of the crate. We don't like our dogs to barge through any doorways. And she's also great off leash. She's got a really beautiful black coat. And with the hot summer, it's starting to get just a little bit of light colors on some of the ends, but that's just from the sun kind of fading a little bit. But once it gets trimmed down a little bit, it's actually very dark black. She's great off leash. You can see she'll take anything in stride. Machine's going by. Sniffing people, it's potty time. Perfect. And we'll take her out. And <clears throat> she actually has met Rachel once a while back, but hasn't seen her in a while. And she's super friendly, has no problem going up to strangers, people she doesn't know very well. And she's not overwhelming. She's uh, really great with kids, really good about not jumping up, you know, like any young dog. Sometimes they want to jump up to get some attention, but we've worked on that with her quite a bit so she's got really good manners responds really well to just a simple correction telling her off and uh she just stays down she does really really well actually very good polite manners in the dog i'd say she's on i'd say she's in the middle as far as energy level maybe a little even uh more energetic than some of our dogs certainly not hyper but just definitely playful likes to run around <laughs> very, very social. Very social dog. <laughs> and you can see she's fantastic off leash. Yeah, we'll put her on the leash so you can see how she does on the leash because that's also extremely important to have our dogs well behaved and not pulling on a leash. And when working with uh, training a dog to a leash, it's important to know that you know it's not always automatic that a dog shouldn't pull on a leash. It's like any other command. You got to tell them it's time to not pull on a, on a leash. And so the way we work with our dogs <clears throat> to get them to not pull on a leash is we use treats and lures and we do a positive reinforcement method to get them to have a nice heel. And this is conditioning them and getting them used to walking at our left side. You see June's got, well, pretty good eye contact, pretty good focus, especially once you have the treats out. And we're going to loop back around, stay on our left. And there, she's walking very, very nicely. Sometimes you just gotta get her attention, say, come on, time to go, we're walking this way. <clears throat> and you're the leader. When you have a dog, they're gonna kinda go wherever you're gonna go, and they're gonna look for you, look to you for direction. This is exactly how we would typically work with dogs even at a young age, we just have treats. And if they start pulling ahead, we would actually just stop, turn around, and go the other way. And what we're doing is refocusing their attention so that they're following us and following really more of our voice command. And we really just use the leash, you know, to keep them from going too far away from us. But the goal here is to be able to use our voice command to keep them near you at all times and even redirect them. So if they pull a hat on a leash and they get distracted, you just say, ah, ah, come with me. And you turn around and you get them, you get their attention and you get them to come with you. And so that there's not a lot of yanking on the leash or anything like that. If you have to pull hard on the leash to get a dog to stop pulling, it's actually very counterintuitive here actually telling the dog you should pull harder and this is like sled dog time if you pull on a leash it does not often work to slow a dog down by pulling on the leash we find it's much more effective to redirect their attention and focus and then it easily translates to off-leash work too so at any time we'll try to get Kiara here to maybe hold her into a stay take a few steps back and you see how her recall is Okay is the release command that we use, or the release word from any command, whether it's a sit, a down, a stay. Okay. 
she's really good. Great off leash. And I wish I had a tennis ball with us. I, I can't do. recall. You do? Yes. Okay, let's see how she does. I can't remember. She retrieves. Okay, good. Yeah. Oh, she left it there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, we'll get her we'll get her attention again. We'll throw it short and you know, we'll keep the video in about another 30 seconds and we'll end it at six minutes long. So it's not too long. There you go. She's stopped. Oh come on. <laughs> I know we have <laughs> we do it all the time. Yeah. Let's see if I can get her to do it. Thank you. Go get it. Get it. Now bring it here. <laughs> She does, yeah. I got another video of her bringing it back a hundred times in a row. So. <clears throat> All right, June. Ready? Go get it. Well, I <laughs> practice that. She, she definitely retrieves, though. But we'll just have to kind of warm her up for that one. <laughs> She's a great girl. Very good dog. She is available right now. Ready to go. <clears throat> Uh, she's a bit older. She was born in January, so she's going to be very easy to bring into a home. And as far as housebreaking goes, I mean, kennel training, she's been in a kennel every night <clears throat> since she was, you know, seven or eight weeks old. And so she's very adjusted and accustomed to being in a crate. So she has great bladder control, very unlike a very young puppy. So she should transition into a new home very quickly once she learns your doorways and rules and boundaries and routines and really you know much closer to the nearly housebroken level than some of our younger dogs in training that takes a little bit longer to get them acclimated and give them more freedom but in a shorter amount of time with June you'd be able to give her more freedom to wander the house she's really just a very very well behaved well mannered she's great around kids she's great around my kids fantastic temperament i mean just the ideal temperament we like to see in our labradoodles friendly playful but not too over energetic you know still is likes to just you know get a belly rub hang out with you in the house and just relax and definitely knows how to shut it off as far as the energy level but if you want a dog that's good for playtime june is certainly it and, uh, just a very obedient loyal faithful really fun dog great dog <laughs>